right. Here's the mod. <laughs> you actually have to take the whole thing apart. This cable is plenty long enough to do this, to put the battery on the outside. But they run it forward and they wrap it around. I think they do that so you can't pull it off the board. Um, I'm actually a little concerned with that. I may pull the door open and put something on the cable, like put some uh, um, heat shrink tube with something inside the heat shrink. So when it shrinks down, there's a little bubble there so I can't yank it out through the door. But uh, the camera and the battery are just mounted temporarily. I just zip tied them together with a little foam in between them. I just want to see how this works. It's a little... I have a feeling it's going to be worse because it's it's very jello-y on its own. It shakes and shimmies. So I have a feeling the jello is actually going to be worse because of it. Um, but we'll see. I think it's too much weight on these little balloons. If you look at them, I think it's just it's just a little too much. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do like this battery staying. The battery is going to stay on the outside no matter what because this is just. This is convenient. <laughs> I mean, it's right here. Just that simple. That is sweet. So, let's give it a shot. I'll turn the remote on. Bind it. I'm going to go right to 100%. Set the gyros. And they're blinking. And... I'm going to bring it back down to low, fire up the uh, video, and let's see what happens. Actually, that lifted better than normal. i got to say, it's actually flying a lot smoother with the battery outside. The lower center of gravity, I think, is helping it. There's my wind going that way, so I want to fight it. Bring it down again. It's a little breezy out. It's not terribly windy, but it's breezy. Those black uh, markers are definitely helping. I can see those clear as day. I don't know if you can in the video, but the black front um, prop guards definitely make orientation better.